friends how are you welcome back to my channel for a vlog that is starting on a wednesday i'm doing a week vlog because everything's about to be all mixed up i am leaving town friday to go to big bear so i'm gonna start a travel vlog starting friday so that will be out in the following week but i have so many fun things planned for this vlog i just went to the post office i have so many packages from you guys and it's a holiday so I couldn't pick up the packages they have on hand today. So I'm gonna go back tomorrow and pick those up and then just do a huge mail time opening things from y'all which is going to be so exciting. And today I have two self tapes I have to do. I've had two self tapes every day all week long. It's been crazy. Obviously because we don't have in-person auditions this is usually a very busy season for auditions, but they're all from home. So I got to do those today. And then it's almost my mom's birthday. So I figured we could go shopping for her birthday present together. So I got home from a workout class and the post office. I need to shower and get ready, but I'm going to make some breakfast. And apparently sometime today we have uh, maintenance coming into our apartment for a fire safety check. And it's kind of crazy that we don't know when. <laughs> today they're coming in. So like I'm even nervous to shower because what if someone just barges in my apartment, you know? So that's odd. My almost everyday breakfast is the Whole Foods almond flour tortillas that are raw. So you make them on the stove top. Some scrambled gist eggs with a little bit of cheese or vegan cheese and then a little salt and pepper and chula. And it is the best breakfast taco <laughs> that I can eat <laughs> that I've ever had. It's so good. Did my self tape, got them done. I'm gonna take MAX out on a walk, but quick outfit of the day. I'm really out of breath from changing. <laughs> I uh, g bought this sweater in 2016 and I still love it. It's gone in and out of style because for a couple years only crop sweaters were in style, but I would just fringe tuck this. Now oversized sweaters are a little bit more in style, but I've still worn it every year and I'm literally just wearing leggings and these Everlane boots that feel like socks because I feel like being really comfy today. So I'm going to take Max out and then we'll go maybe to anthropology. I'm feeling like that might be the best spot to look. I have nothing particular in mind for her. She's hard to shop for because she doesn't really like want things or need things. There's so many fun things at anthropology that I feel like it's a good spot to look. So I think that'll be my starting point. Also, Brooke is going to Target and my hard drive is out of storage. So I'm hoping he can find my hard drive at Target. But if not, then maybe we can go to Best Buy. I was going to do a car thought, but I had to park in the garage basement so this lighting is a no but maybe after anthropology maybe after a blue bottle too give me love give me all your love oh cause i want you no one else makes me feel this way don't know what you You hold my hand, look me in the eyes You and me, yeah that's all I need And I'll be alright I'll be right here I swear that I'll stay here with Christmas you. threw up in anthropology and it was the most exciting thing this street's really loud, but uh, I'm across the street from Blue Bottle, so I'm gonna get a matcha and then I'll show you what I got her because this vlog is coming out after I see her, so it'll be fine. I could show you. Blue Bottle was closed early for Veterans Day, so one of the few things I actually like from Starbucks, the pumpkin cream cold brew, it's so good. So as I was saying, this is really good. Also, Starbucks has oat milk now and it's kind of making me reconsider it. I just feel like Starbucks is kind of like coffee fast food, but I will say that now that they have oat milk, a grande oat milk latte with two pumps of chestnut praline is like my ideal holiday dessert drink. So um, I've actually gone to Starbucks a couple times in the last few weeks, which before that I hadn't gone in like six months. So that's funny. I'll show you what I got for my mom, but also car thought. Y'all, I love Pasadena. Like obviously I've kind of talked about lately my feelings about California as a whole and how like it's so expensive and right now with it being so shut down there's like not as much of a reason for me to live here but when I'm actually around and about in Pasadena I love it it really has such a small town feeling but city luxuries like for example our main street which is literally like walking distance like everything's walking distance has anthropology and Madewell and Urban Outfitters and Free People and Lululemon and like all the big city stores but it also is just one street with all the shops 
it's kind of like a traditional main street in a small town and I was driving by and I drove by True Food Kitchen where I used to work and all of my co-workers were out serving tables and I was like oh Matthew I miss Matthew I wonder if Matthew's gonna see this hi Matthew I miss you and like seeing all of my old co-workers and I like kind of got nostalgic and it really feels like a small town like Pasadena is a small town that also happens to be 15 minutes from downtown LA it's so weird but I really love Pasadena's culture and everything it has to offer and how it feels so just community and I love it but that was my car thought um if anybody's considering moving to the LA area I would highly recommend Pasadena Pasadena gets a bad rap because it's not cool people are like oh that's where like people go to have kids <laughs> which is kind of true but because of it houses are a little bit cheaper there's really good school districts out here if you do have kids it's much easier to park <laughs> it's safer there's less crime like highly recommend it and yes during traffic if you have auditions in Hollywood it might take up to an hour but without traffic you can get to Hollywood in 20 minutes so you know I recommend it if you're ever considering moving to LA. So first, I got my mom this. Anthropology has the cutest board games right now. Like so many fun board games. I kind of wanted to get some, but they're really they're really pricey. They're definitely overpriced. But this is a really cute game scorecard, and my family's favorite thing to do together. It's a little bit harder now that my sister and I have significant others and stuff, but because it's a four-person game, is play spades, and this has four spots. So figured sometimes we play teams or whatever, but this is perfect to give to my mom for when we all play spades which is really cute and it's easy for us to keep score and then this is just something random so she's actually coming to visit me next week I don't know if I'll get any I'm trying to work ahead of time so I don't have to work I don't know if I'll get any vlog footage with her or anything but I'm trying to find things that she could fly home with since she's flying here so I was looking at like really pretty like plates and candles and all those things but I was like that's probably not a good idea to put in a suitcase but I have always wanted these and I was like if I've always wanted these I'm sure my mom would like them and they're so random I don't even know if she would actually use them but like I said my parents are in a position where they if there's anything that they ever want they can just get it and they are not materialistic at all so they rarely want anything so they're really hard to shop for so I was like this is something that isn't clothes that's safe to go in her suitcase that's cozy and it's like a fun little splurge that she would never buy for herself I don't even know if she likes slippers she's never owned slippers before in my life but I have always wanted these so I was like I hope that means she would like them too. They're really nice slippers. So I'll link these things down below for y'all. I'll find them on online. I'll also link down below a couple of the games that I found. Oh, they're so cute. They had the cutest dominoes and they had like a retro candy land that was so adorable, like very aesthetic. So cute. Okay, those were my things I wanted to share with you. Cheers. Okay, as promised in this vlog, we are doing a meal time with everything from my PO box. I feel like probably 80% of the things that I get in my PO box are from you guys or, and or from your small companies, which I love, love, love to try to support whenever I can. Some things do get lost in the shuffle, so I'm so sorry if you've ever sent me something and it's gotten lost in like the chaos, but I have all of these packages and all of this. So I figured it would be really fun to open it up together. This is probably gonna be a really long vlog, but we love mail times. I love mail times. And from what I can see, the majority of you love mail times. Not everybody, but not everybody loves everything. So it's okay. But before jumping into all of these, I think there's a box inside this box. Let me check. Ah, there is. This mail time is sponsored by GU Box. So we're going to open this one before the rest. I about two weeks ago filmed a roundup video of my top 10 favorite subscription boxes of all time. I think that it's... I think it's coming out before this vlog. My schedule's still out of whack, but this was in my top 10 boxes. This is my favorite like beauty skincare box. They are an indie beauty brand box. So they are a quarterly box, meaning four times a year you can order them. And every single box has four to six full size products and they're all clean indie brands. And I'm, we know this, I'm really picky about like <laughs> packaging and aesthetic. And I get really excited when something aligns with mine. And I don't know what's in this box, this winter box yet at all but i've opened i think the last three seasons and every single item inside every single box i was genuinely excited about and that is really really rare for subscription boxes they are 59.99 a box but i do have code mikel10 for 10 percent off which is incredible so i will link all of this down below but i'm really excited to see what's inside this and i'm actually going to move all this off of here so that we can see it together as I open it. Oh, Woo! everything's 
<laughs> so cute, like literally. Sorry, I'm gonna be showing things up close to the camera. If you don't know this about me, I feel like only some people know all of the health things I've been going through, but my fingernails are currently falling off due to health issues. So sorry in advance, but, oh, Jessica wrote me a sweet note. But like, look, even just the first things are so pretty. Every single thing in this box is always so pretty. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, what is this ultra hydrate organic body butter herb market botanicals do you see what i mean look at how pretty this packaging is let's see if we have a value for this this values at 24.35 usd they also have canadian dollars because they are based out of canada let's see what this looks like on the inside Ooh, it's so pretty second bella skin beauty rose neroli toner this is valued at 58 us dollars this one product alone is valued at essentially the cost of the whole box oh stunning absolutely stunning cleansing revitalizing moisturizing and refreshing toner balances the ph of your skin all the good stuff that we love in a toner ultra moisturizing dry skin serum i need this my skin has been so dry wabi sabi and this value is at 24 usd all of this is so pretty i love it <gasps> I really hope, yes, I was gonna say, I really hope this is lip balm because my lips have been so chapped. Um, this value is at 15.25 USD. This is a fancy lip balm, Vanilla Cocoa Lip Balm by The Rose Company. And it is in like a um, cardboard container. So there's no plastic to this. That's what that one looks like. Uh, I was like, I think that there's five things in this box. There is, <gasps> it's something matcha related. I'm reading this, matcha soap block. This value is at 4.55. This food-based cube soap bar, this cold process contains matcha powder that relaxes your body exfoliates the skin oh my gosh i can bathe in matcha those of you who know me, first look at how pretty the box is but i was gonna say those of you who know me know how much i truly truly love matcha how do i open this without ruining it oh it's like it's like a paper it's like an origami oh oh it smells so good i'm so excited about this i'm definitely gonna shower with this tonight ah I love Shigu Box so much. They have never disappointed. Like literally every single item in here, I'm so genuinely excited about. I feel like a lot of skin and beauty subscription boxes kind of have like one or two duds inside of every single box, but none of these are duds. I'm so excited. So thank you GU Box for sponsoring this mail time. The best thing to open first, for sure. Starting it off on a good note. And like I said, Mikel 10, 10% off and I will have it linked down below. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Great Christmas present. If I got that as a Christmas present, I would be so, so excited. Okay, now let's see. There's so many things. I don't even know where to start with. Okay, I'm really curious what the heck this is because it feels like a photograph. I really don't know what this is. Unfolding essentials. Ready to get it together? Cute, okay, this is a, a subscription box of sorts. Let's see what's in it. Oh, it's like paper goods. First, we have affirmation cards. I see so many positives in my life. I give myself permission to enjoy myself. I am enough. I am worthy of happiness. Ooh, these are all good for me to hear. My happiness comes from within me. The life I've always dreamed of is created by my choice to be joyful now. Ooh, ooh, I like that. That is good. Choosing Happiness 2020, your monthly self-care guide. So cute. It's like a little, little writing prompts to write you through some journaling things. And then there's a couple like coloring pages in here. Gratitude journal, very similar, but this is gratitude instead of self-care. Today, what am I grateful for for 30 days in a row? And you list out five things you're grateful for every day. And a habit tracker map and a get it together. Three tasks I wanna do this month, my goal for this month. I love that. This is very intentional. That is so cool. So that's called unfolding essentials. I don't know if that's one of y'all's businesses, but if so, good job. This is a cute little package. Let's see. Cute. Oh, okay. Oh, this is from someone named Julie and she made a homemade key ring. That is so sweet. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. Look at that. Look at that. Her shop is called Handmade Dolling, D-A-W-L-I-N-G by Julie. I'm trying to say all of these verbally out loud so that they're easy to find because I am doing a rush turnaround on this video and linking things takes forever. So I'm not really confident in my ability to get all of these things linked for you guys. So I'm gonna try to just say what the name is of all these things so they're easily Googleable. Handmade Dolling by Julie. Thank you, Julie. That is so sweet. And turquoise is so pretty. Turquoise reminds me of my mom. It's her favorite color. She has so much turquoise jewelry. I can like kind of already see what's in here. This is from, and don't worry, this is my PO box address. If an address is like marked through, it's my actual home address, but my PO address is public knowledge, so it's listed down below. 
but wait there looks like there's a card in here oh so this is like a little subscription a little scrunchie subscription because she says it's so easy to lose scrunchies which is so true so this is stella scrunchies and then she has a crate joy and an instagram stella hyphen scrunchies at CrateJoy.com. and mikkel three for three dollars off it's normally 6.99 so that would make it 3.99 oh this is so cute that is what that looks like don't look at my nails too closely <laughs> that is so pretty and that is a brilliant subscription idea because that is something that is pretty essential if you have long hair and so easy to lose so stella scrunchies mikkel three for three dollars off thank you so much for sending that to me. This is by someone, Alyssa's Clay Co. I love anything clay. I'm excited to see what this is. Guys, this is making me so happy. All of this so far is from small businesses. Even GU Box is a small business. Jessica herself is the owner of that. And I just like, I get so excited to support small businesses because I have a small business and I know how hard it is. This is Alyssa. Alyssa's Clay Co.com and Instagram at Alyssa Clay Co. Oh my god gosh these are so me okay first i have all of these different things for all the different keys now each of my keys are going to be so pretty i'm gonna put one on my car key one on my house key one on my p.o box key one on my office key this is so pretty and then look these are on here perfectly i can show you both of these earrings at the same time they're so pretty and they're clay based i love this color combination, the like almost blush in the light blue. Alyssa, you are so talented. So at Alyssa Clay Co, her Instagram or alyssaclayco.com, A-L-Y-S-S-A. -S -S I love this. All of y'all are so stinking talented and entrepreneurial and like such boss babes. I am just so excited. Like, I love y'all. I'm so honored to have such cool online friends. Ooh. <laughs> Inspired. This is so. F oh, what has my name on it? Um, this is by Inspired K R I. I don't know if it's an eight S I O N S. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold this up so that you can pause on this information if you so need it. This apparently is like a <laughs> card game. They apparently make things for date night, weddings, birthdays, anniversaries, and look, that's so cute. My name is on it. I need to get to some of the like boxes too. I've been going through all of the little mailers. Ooh. Oh, I think they're masks. I'm so excited. I'm gonna open the card first though. A mom and daughter sewing duo, frame family crafts. Oh, Mikkel 30. I think that that must be 30% off. So let's see. Thank you, Christina. Okay, her last name is Frame. That's such a fun last name, Frame. I love that. Um, they created their Etsy shop after losing their job due to the pandemic. And oh my gosh, this is so cute. I love this floral color. Okay, etsy.com backslash shop backslash frame family crafts. I'm sure if you go to Etsy and search frame family crafts, you can find these masks and the backs is Mikkel 30. So I'm assuming that means 30% off, but like, look, and I love that it's a mother daughter duo. That is so sweet. Thank you. I hope that I bring some business to your Etsy shop. Thank you for sending them to me. If you're looking for masks, don't go buy them off Amazon or some random place like that. Go support this sweet, sweet family. Okay. Um, let's do a good, ha okay. I think that this is a subscription box. Good habit box co. I might save this for a subscription box unboxing. Let's check what this is. Oh, surrender your junior god badge. Every woman's battle with control. Are you wearing a junior god badge? Absolutely not. Ask yourself the following question. Am I tired? Tired of needing to control the lives of those you love? Irritated by never ending list of things you feel responsible for? Yes, that one's a yes. Resentful for being labeled as a nag or control freak? Control freak, yeah. Exhausted by the stress of an out of control world? Mm -hmm. And drained from trying to do everything by yourself? Mm -hmm. I think this person knows me that sent me this book. This is cool. It looks like a Christian perspective on like letting go of um, the need for control by Jackie Kindle. There's not a note in here. It looks like it came from Amazon, but whoever sent this to me knows me and my personality pretty well. Thank you so much. I am excited to read this. Um, I love anything with a Christian perspective. Here's a note from someone named Geneva. Such a pretty card. Happy mail for Mikkel. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> wow, this card is so pretty. It says thank you on it. There's something taped in here. Cute. <gasps> What? Oh my gosh. Oh my word. She made me stickers and she also left the sweetest note. Oh my word. Like I'll show you some of these. Happy fall. All of these are waterproof. These are all my favorite things. There's sweaters. There's coffee. There's candles. There's plants. Matcha. Oh my gosh. Stop it. So <gasps> stop it. Oh my word. Okay, wait. I gotta show you some close-ups. Sorry in advance for my nails, but I need to like put this all over my computer. This says hi friends. There's a blue bottle. Oh my gosh. She knows me so well. I always say at 2 p.m. that it's matcha o'clock. 
How did she do this? A matcha latte? Oh my word. I'm gonna hold up her information so you can screenshot it, but her Instagram is at Juniper G-E-E -E Art. Juniper G Art. That is like one of the most thoughtful things I have ever been sent. Girl, you are gonna see these on my computer. Like as soon as I finish filming these, I'm gonna go put these as many as can fit on my computer and you'll see them in future videos. This is the sweetest thing. Guys, I love you. <laughs> Mm, I feel like I'm gonna cry. I love y'all. You're so talented. I can't say that too many times, but I really, really mean it. You're so, so talented. Okay, I have no idea what this is, but this looks exciting. Let's see. Ooh, whatever this is, is like in some sort of fancy recycled paper, like homemade paper, I guess is what you call it. Wow, oh my word. Oh, okay, this is some adorable jewelry and it's from K-A-V-Y-A-K-A-P-A. Kaviakapa.com. So pretty. Here is the website and like how you spell it. But they're two little bracelets that are so stunning. And also some like art on this gorgeous paper. Zero waste packaging and 100% organic jewelry. Kaviakapa.com. And if you plant this paper, it has seeds in it and it will grow. That is so cute. So this packaging is literally will grow plants if you just bury it in some dirt and water it. That is the cutest thing. Oh my word. I wonder if she can make packaging for GNC the label. Our packaging is already completely recycled and recyclable, but that would be one step above if it would grow plants. I have no idea what this is. This is from Shipping Center in Reno, Nevada. Oh, huh, interesting. Ooh, this is, what What do you call, like pre-workout, I think. The Amino Co. Perform, improve and extend peak athletic performance. I've never heard of this doctor formulated, vegan friendly, GMO free. I mean, I have started working out again. Maybe I should try a pre-workout and see what happens. That's what that looks like. Okay, this is from something called Good Jane. And I think this is like a smaller, CBD company. I have started using CBD a little bit on the days I feel not great due to all of my health issues and it has helped. Oh, see, this is what I love about smaller businesses is they're so sweet to write handwritten notes. So this is called Good Jane. Wow, she sent me multiple things. Not this month, PMS Relief Stick, a CBD oil that I believe you can apply topically. My period is like on the tail end right now. I really could have used this four days ago. It also has cramp bark, chamomile, ginger, rose, olive oil, beeswax, and cocoa butter and essential oils. Okay, packaging alert, so cute. Nighty night sleep tight, a CBD capsule with 15 milligrams of broad spectrum hemp extract. Oh, Brooke was gonna be really excited about this because he can't sleep. Interesting. I've never seen CBD capsules. I'm sure they're common, but I haven't seen that. I've only really seen like tinctures. And then Hello Mellow Chill Pills. And this, I guess, is formulated to help with stress and anxiety. Also pills. I'm not gonna lie, this is the most stressful season of the year for me. Not only cause health things, not only cause the election, but Q4 in the YouTube world. Like I have been booked up for sponsorships for the next couple months, which can be a little bit stressful. So I am very down to try that and to try the, um, see if it helps a little bit with my stress management. So that came at a perfect time. A couple notes, let, let me open these. Oh my word. Oh, that is so sweet. Someone named Brooke, which by the way, great name. We love the name Brooke in this household. Sent me a really, really, really sweet note. That really means a lot. Thank you for sending that Brooke. Made my day, made my day. Another really sweet note, guys. Y'all are so sweet. Okay, I don't know what this is. This is a big package. This showed up my PO box from a friend named Amy. Let's see if Amy has a little business we can help support. <gasps> Yay, okay. Oh, I see the word candle. She makes candles. $10 off a $50 purchase, Mikkel 10, and her Etsy shop is called Pampered by Parker. You got that? Pampered by Parker and Mikkel 10 for $10 off if you spend 50. Pampered by Parker. I do get so excited for candles. Oh, so pretty. I love this container. The black and the gold. Oh, that smells so good. It smells sweet with like a slight hint of citrus. Hand poured soy wax. That smells so good. Oh my gosh. Y'all need to check that out. And a citrus blast bath bomb. That smells so good. Holy smoke. Pampered by Parker on Etsy. 
check her out. Thank you for sending that. I love candles so much. Okay, there's only a couple things left. This, boo, wait a minute, there's a couple things in here. Glam Addiction Designs on Etsy is what this is. She made a couple things just for me. She said that she noticed that most of my stuff is simple gold with no colors, which is very true. Oh, that's so sweet. Mikkel 10 for 10% 10 off. Y'all got that? Glam Addiction Designs on Etsy and Mikkel 10 for 10% 10 off. Oh my word. Okay, I'm so excited to see these things. Let's see. That's so sweet that she noticed my style and made something for me. Oh my word, I love this. It's like a freshwater pearl, a very simple necklace. This is so my style. She got me down, that is perfect. Wow, I love that. And something else, I've told y'all, I've been so into jewelry lately. Like I have been finding new jewelry shops and like I've been really, really into it lately. It's been like my new thing. Oh my word, these are so pretty. Look at these earrings. They almost kind of remind me of like eyelids, like which are super duper in right now, but I love, I'm sure this part goes through your ear like this and then it has that little dangle. These are stunning. Thank you. Here's her, here's her info. Pause if you need that. Thank you so much for sending that to me. I love these. They're so, so, so pretty. Th this might be a subscription box. And if so, I will set it aside for the next subscription box unboxing. Yep. This looks like one. My me time box. Okay, setting this aside for the next subscription box video. And one last thing. This, okay, this was a small business when I first discovered them, but I feel like they have been doing really well, which makes me so excited because I've loved this business for like over a year now. It's my Vela box. Speaking of candles, I love Vela box because they send candles every month. I always have a link down below. I think it's Mikkel 5 for $5 off your first box. Don't quote me on that. It's always down below, so I never remember what it is because it's just like there. Oh my God word a coffee house candle this smells like hazelnut coffee that smells delicious and it's so pretty and cozy sweater cinnamon chestnuts and vanilla <sighs> that smells so cozy but that is like honestly one of the best things i've ever smelled that's what that looks like and oh cute they always like have like a little a little extra gift in there it looks like we have a silicone drinking straw that's adorable oh my word guys that's everything wow this vlog is gonna be so long should i do whenever i do like a mail time should i make that its own video or do you like it within a vlog even if it makes the vlog super long let me know <laughs> let me know but i cannot believe how many incredible small business is you guys have started like I'm so honored to have an opportunity to help to the best of my ability spread the word and promote your small businesses and speaking of if you're looking for something to support and if you love subscription boxes which good chance you do if you follow my channel highly highly recommend checking out GU box don't forget that they're linked down below but thank you again to GU box for sponsoring this mail time they specifically wanted to sponsor a mail time of me getting to open all these things from you guys and help to spread the word about these things from you guys which is really cool to have a company want to be a part of the video supporting other companies like that speaks volumes to them this is this is so good so good okay back to the vlog going on a little adventure where are we going mac he makes his voice that's mark wait no Pico. do a better voice Pico. i don't know what he does i feel like he talks like this he just made a throw up noise <laughs> Because, did I already mention that we're going to Big Bear this weekend? Ooh, lighting change. I don't remember if I mentioned that in this vlog yet or not, but we're gonna get little Bud some snowshoes. He's probably not gonna wear them, but he also, I think, is gonna hate the snow. It's gonna be interesting. We're gonna get them just to have them on hand anyways. And maybe you can pick out a treat. Oh, you see a dog. What kinds of boots do you want, Bud? What kind of boots? They're all up here. I like the yellow ones. These look like wide enough. Like these sock ones are probably hard to get on, but the, the silicone I mean, ones. ones Big, yeah, that's a large. But like, there's no other size. Oh, there's yeah, only small, small and large. And large. Oh, too small. Shoot, what are these? That's large. Max's first time trying on boots. Let's see. Come here, bud. Come here. Come here. <laughs> They're not quite as. <laughs> Come here, bud. Come Max. Here. They're falling off. Come here. <laughs> and I have to make them tighter. But they're not coming off completely. Well, hopefully just to go out and pee in the snow would be okay. <laughs> okay, bud, pick out your treat. There's some like doggy donut looking things. I don't know what those are. You can't have this one. He Boy, smelled this. Here. That is literally so much bigger. Oh, so much bigger than you. Oh. Nope. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Yeah, I'll take that one. I'll take that one. Thank you very much. 
good morning it is saturday what <laughs> it is thursday and I'm not gonna lie i kind of forgot i was vlogging yesterday because i don't vlog in the middle of the week but i it's 9 30 and i've already been awake for a long time got a ton of work done responded to all of my emails re-edited a whole video uploaded it sent it to a brand filmed a voiceover audition and now i'm prepping a bolognese sauce because it takes six hours to cook and i'm prepping it to take down to the cabin when we go this weekend so i don't have to like rely on them for having all the supplies i need to make it i'm just going to take the sauce separately and the noodles separately to have an easy dinner down there so i am cutting onions and crying and watching aspen Ovard while I do so. So I'm just watching Aspen and crying, I guess. And then a little bit later, I'll get ready for, oh wait, did I tell you? I have an in-person callback today. So I'll take you with me. Uh, this is my second in-person audition since COVID. A lot of callbacks I still do over Zoom, but uh, uh, apparently sometimes I want it in person. So I am on the way to my audition. It's so funny. Like an hour ago, they changed my time to where I basically had to leave within the hour to get there. And this exact same audition, the day I sent in my self tape for it, they made us retape it the same night. The same night because they uh, decided they wanted to see something different. And it's like, I wish that there was more respect for actors dying. <laughs> it's such an industry of uh, people that are so eager for work and willing to do anything that they're willing to be, I don't want to say disrespected, but <laughs> like they're just willing to, to do something at the drop of a hat for like not a lot of money. I don't know. It's a funny industry. I'm starting to see it in a whole new light now that I have my own thing. All of that to say, um, I kind of secretly really don't want to book this because it films when my mom gets here and she's only here for a couple of days and I want to spend time with her. I've had a lot of realizations lately, just kind of about like what I really want. And uh, yeah, it's funny, it's a funny world, but I'll take you along with me, maybe get a sneaky inside shot so you can see what a casting studio looks like if you've never seen one before. That's where they cast a ton of different projects at the same time in one building. That's where I'm headed to now. So the audition is in the SAG building. Is that better? Which, if you don't know, SAG stands for Screen Actors Guild, SAG-AFTRA, which is like the union essentially protecting actors. The irony is that this is a non-union project, almost nothing's union anymore, for a food commercial, and we're supposed to eat something off a fork. So because of COVID, they told actors to bring their own fork. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny stuff. Also, I normally go inside to auditions um, like 15 minutes early. It's 20 minutes before my time right now, but we're not supposed to arrive early. We're supposed to arrive right on time to not congregate or anything. So I'm gonna wait a little bit before going in. And there is the infamous SAG logo. <laughs> All that we have is each other now. what the inside of a casting studio looks like. Sometimes there is like one lobby and then up to 15 different little rooms that auditions are happening in and all the actors are sitting in a central lobby. This is a very small studio where there's two audition rooms in one central lobby, but man, I was in and out of there quick. There's nobody waiting and normally you have to wait a little bit for your turn because they kind of stack people really closely, but I guess they spread out people a little bit more for this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here, but starting tomorrow, I am going to be filming our Big Bear trip. So that's gonna be coming out next weekend. So the vlogs are a little bit out of order, not out of order, but a little bit different of a filming schedule. So you're gonna be seeing next week's vlog a little bit more after I'm, it's gonna be like a longer gap between filming and it being released, if that makes sense. But I love y'all so much. Thank you for joining me on a couple of weekdays, a little, little weekday in my life situation and I will see you in Big Bear next weekend. Have the best rest of your day. Bye.